Yo, you guys, you guys in YouTube land, how do you do? Ah, uh, not very sure where I am. You know, if the place had some like a name sign or something like that, that would be useful, don't you think? But I think I'm lost again. Anyway, want to join me for my adventure here? If you do, just stay tuned. It takes us to the Admiralty Park Connector and the Woodlands Waterfront Park. I guess that's where we are going. So let's go here. We will have to cross the road though. Busy, busy road. So, this place is Woodlands Waterfront Park. A park in front of the water. That's why they call it a waterfront park. It's a 11 hectare park with a playground, a 1.5 kilometer long waterfront promenade, a 400 meter long jetty which is the longest jetty in Singapore but what people come here for is the view a panoramic view of the entire coastal park and the Straits of Johor and you can actually see Johor from the jetty So what do I remember when I came here 10 years ago? Uh, I think the park here was very very much smaller than what it is now. I re have a vague recollection of the signage and coming to the park. You come in here, there was a small little hill you know, and then there are like uh, pathways uh, walking around the hill and after that is forest you know, and they also fence it up on the other side and then a jetty. That's all I remember of the place previously. Now, it looks like it has gotten much, much bigger. M much wider too. So, let's just explore and see what we can find. So, what shall we do first? This is the part of the promenade. The 1.5 km long waterfront promenade. So, all the way that direction to the direction behind me. And then over here is where the jetty is. So, welcome to Singapore's longest jetty. Yep, it's over there. Don't believe me? It's there. Oh, because of that. Oh, you only can see the land behind me. Oh, okay. So, Singapore's longest jetty. Let's see how long it is. That's, that doesn't sound good. That sounds a bit uh, raunchy. That, my friends and subscribers and people who watch this video, is the causeway. And that white thing you see across here is the water pipe that brings raw water in to Singapore from JB and clean portable water out from Singapore to JB so that they can drink clean water in JB. Tightly packed full of skyscrapers is Johor Bahru, a hodgepodge of construction, buildings, condominiums, shopping malls and other stuff. And then across, of, across from Johor Bahru, Singapore, woodlands area, still green, still lush, still green with lots of plants, natural heritage. 
so what you see before you is an L-shaped jetty so the jetty goes out the direction and then turns right and on this jetty itself there is a special feature there is actually a restaurant on the jetty so this restaurant serves a halal food uh, Chinese uh, zizha dishes where they actually cook dishes as per order they also sell satay they also sell the other Malay uh, noodle dishes and also like uh, teas coffee so a place you can come for a meal and for the view of Joho so on this side here what you can actually see is you can actually see the northern part of Singapore or the trees or the mangrove or maybe not, not, not mangrove anymore it used to be mangrove swamps but mainly trees now in front of us now is this shop or this restaurant called Rasa Istimewa it's a Malay word Rasa means taste Istimewa means special this is a one of the few waterfront restaurants in Singapore at least on a jetty this is probably the only one on a jetty in Singapore so what they serve here is they serve Chinese food but halal Chinese food taste wise your usual zizha dishes zizha standard nothing extremely special but it's halal so if you want to taste uh, Chinese uh, zizha or Chinese like you know you order dishes and stuff seafood meat vegetables yep we can come down here it's halal uh, not only do they have a Chinese zizha they also have like satay and Malay food like mee goreng mee rebus those kind of noodles so this is the only place in Singapore where you can have a dinner meal and enjoy the view of Johor at night with the lights yeah so don't come here for the food come here for the view this is the closest you can get to Malaysia while still being in Singapore and in the past this jetty used to be a functioning jetty So this is the jetty, the Woodlands jetty, the longest jetty in Singapore. So in the past, boats were actually tied up here. The ropes were thrown up here, they tied up, people climbed up here from the boats. So, I've reached to the end of the jetty. Here's the jetty here. So, what's next to do? Uh, I guess we could look over the jetty to the sea. Uh, you have any idea what we should do here? I'm actually out of ideas. Uh, okay. The jetty! We are here! The longest jetty in Singapore! Ta-da! Is there anything I can see over the rail? Maybe there is something here? Nah, nothing. Okay then. Uh, let's have a look at the view. On one side, Singapore, then Senoko, and then the Straits of Johor, and then you have Johor, Johor Bahru. 
is it a McDonald's over there? Looks like a McDonald's. Okay, if I ever get over to the other side one day, I will have a look. So, Joho Baru. Everyone, the view from the jetty. So, over here at this jetty is where you can get the closest, the closest to Joho, to Malaysia, while still being in Singapore physically. And I guess that brings us to the end of our adventure here on the Woodlands Jetty. The jetty in Woodlands used to be a military jetty, now a recreational jetty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your adventure here today. What did we do today? We explored Woodlands waterfront. We stepped the closest we can get to Joko Baru while still standing on Singapore land. I hope you enjoyed that adventure. As per usual, like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. And what else? Oh yes, I got Patreon, I also got PayPal. Support me on those. Especially if you want to see me go in there one day. And lastly, but the most important thing, don't forget to join me for my next adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye. I become a shadow again. <laughs>